one already. Here we go, guys. Let's see. Let me turn this down a little bit. I think that should be right. There we go. Alright. This is a Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. By me, but my 14. How's it going, guys? Uh, last episode, we, uh... What did we do? Well, uh, we dueled Maya a bunch of times, I remember. We also got Joey registered. And, uh, we made an Exodia deck. Uh, I thought the, uh, event with the whole, uh... Because we saw that, that mansion, and we got the invite for the Expert Cup. Uh, yeah, sorry, I thought that event would happen last time, but, um... Okay, good. We still got the Exodia deck up. Uh, but apparently you need to wait, uh, two nights before, uh, some stuff will happen. So, we're just gonna duel in between time. Um, not just too sure how many Kaiba Core points we've got, but, uh, I don't know. Let's just duel Mokuba here. For no particular reason. Uh, yeah, I still wanna work out some stuff in the Exodia deck. I gotta get stronger so I can help settle a tree fish dreams. Yeah, let's duel, buddy. Okay. It's Mokuba. It sure is. Uh, what time is it, by the way? Okay. Already. <laughs> yeah, I actually just got done recording some uh, of uh, Pokemon the Trading Card Game uh, right before this, and uh, man, some stuff go to, goes down on that one, let me tell you. That one was pretty fun, though. <laughs> Alright, but back to regular old Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, this hand is pretty good. Okay, so we'll use... DDC, Different Dimension Capsule. Uh, and I probably should go Max View here. I want Pot of Greed. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Well, there's Graceful Charity. There's Pot of Greed. There we go. All right. And as far as the rest of my turn, it's just Mokobus. Uh, honestly, Revival Jam might be enough. Let's summon that. Yeah. AMV. Adhesion Trample. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. When we revive it, it'll be back at full strength. So, I'll, uh... Eh, sure, we'll set Messenger of Peace. I'm not even going to activate it, though, because a lot of Mokuba's monsters, uh, their baseline's actually under 1,500. So, this is like the one deck... Yeah, yeah, Griffor. See what I mean? This is like the one deck Messenger of Peace isn't going to work. So, yeah. <laughs> got me with that adhesion, though. I, it's been a while since I've seen that one. Alright, we'll pay the grand. Revive Revival Jam next turn. Hey, stay on, son. Well, the good part is, is if you've got that, uh, Koala, uh, the one that does burn damage, it's not really gonna matter, Mokuba. So, uh, one turn on Capsule. Good. Alright, let's get Exarion Universe out here. And we'll just attack. See you, Grip 4. You're going down. Alright. And on this one, we're not even close to uh, getting Exodia, so I'll probably just go for battle damage on this one. Try to control the board in the meantime. And, uh, yeah, go ahead. I guess I do have a Spirit Reaper for Crush card, but, uh, yeah, as I said, most of his monsters go under. Oh, really, bro? <laughs> Tune alligator, yeah. Yeah, most of his monsters go under uh, Crush Card, so I don't even think it'd be smart to play it against him. Uh, should I use Revival Jam again? <laughs> sure, why not? He'll run out of monsters eventually, so we're down to 55 50. Look at that. Triple five. Alright. We should get Pot of Greed this turn, though, so. Uh, yeah. Revival Jam. All right, capsule shatter. Uh, get pot of greed. Let's play it. I activate pot of greed. Mm, ooh, 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 man, we got some good cards here. I uh, actually don't have anything in the graveyard, so Xarion, you're up. Yeah. I know she didn't play another uh, adhesion trap hole there, Mokuba. All right, Xarion, attack. Spear Strike. Alright. I'm 
I'm surprised they even gave Mokuba to an alligator. I mean, yeah, I know it's like a weaker monster, and uh, that's kind of the point. But like, I mean, after what Mokuba went through at Duelist Kingdom, uh, wouldn't you be like traumatized by, you know, any Toon monster? I mean, at least I would be. Uh, that, that's just me, guys. That's just me. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I could go Spirit Reaper to get the last card out of his hand in attack mode. Yeah, let's do it. Spirit Reaper. And in the meantime... Yeah, we finally got to switch Jam back to attack mode, so... We'll take out these, uh, lamb tokens. So, see ya, blue one. Alright. And Exarion has the optional piercing effect, so... These things have no defense, so why not use it? Uh, what's this asking? Uh, no. Okay. There you go, piercing damage, Mokuba. <laughs> also, I'm not how many sure how many Kaibakor points we have, but uh, well, we'll take a look after. Oh, scapegoat too, bro. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine, Mokuba. Yeah, yeah, get your sheet token. Oh, stalling us out, huh? Well, that's fine. My Spirit Reaver can still take him down, so... Ha! But I guess he did save himself from having to discard the only other card in his hand, so... That's kind of smart. That's kind of smart, Pokemon. I'll give it to you. By the way, did you steal that from Joey before we started this duel, buddy? Do I even have scapegoat in this game? I don't think I do, not yet. Oh, Tori K, huh? I mean, I guess I can play Crush Card Virus here. Just to avoid damage. Uh, sure, let's tribute Spirit Reaper. Fiend Comedian. Okay. <laughs> this doesn't really change the equation, but uh, I guess you do get to banish my stuff. I can't recycle Pot of Greed now. I mean, that's, that's something. Luckily for me, I didn't have any Zodia pieces in the grave. So... Okay. Alright. And something we do have to watch out for Mokuba, actually, is the, uh... Yeah, he has that quick play, Big March of Animals. But, I mean, he doesn't have anything on the field right now. But if he did, it's like, yeah, you do have to watch out for that. Uh, I guess, because, like, with all the scapegoats on his field, he can boost, uh, like, if he had it right now, he'd boost his Tori K to, like, by 800 points, which would actually stop us from doing a lot of damage this turn, so, you know, not too bad of a combo. All right, Revival GM, attack Tori K, or is it Tori I don't know. All right. But yeah, we'll check how many uh, Kyber Core points we have. And then uh, maybe we'll do get some packs at the shop uh, after this duel. Because usually I, I, sh I shop there early in the morning. Uh, so, yeah, that's a good plan for this episode. And then after that, maybe one more duel. Okay, Mokuba. I end my turn. All he's got is Tribute Doll Desquala. It's not a bad draw. Um, I can avoid the damage, though. Especially since I know that that's what you have. Um, that's a pretty good draw for us. So, yeah, let's avoid the damage, like I said. Let's go with Tribe Infecting Virus. Uh, Desquala is a beast type, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but what we'll do here is we'll attack... Well, no, yeah, I can still do damage with Exarion to one of the sheep tokens. I can have Revival GM, I mean, or Tribe, basically flip, uh, flip up the Koala, and then I can use Tribe's effect to declare Beast. Yeah, so we'll take the 400 damage, but we'll clear out the Koala at the end of the day, so. Okay. I just want to make sure it's this type. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, so main phase two. No need to even attack with Revival Jam. We'll just declare Beast. Uh, there we go. See ya. Alright, and then let's get some new cards with Morphic Jar. Why not? 
because he's under crusher card, so I'm not too worried about anything he draws here. Uh, Griffor, Crocodilus, another Griffor, yeah. Token Fist Evil. Penguin Soldier is annoying, but uh, we can get rid of Penguin Soldier if I really, really want to. And I think I do, and I don't mind discarding my hand, so actually, hmm, something I could do here. Hmm. Let's play Giant True Nade to get me even more cards. Yeah, because I don't mind discarding any of these, really. I'll play Card of Safe Return. That seems to be key to our deck. Uh, sure, I'll play a way to use Card of Safe Return. And then we'll card destruction. There we go. New hand. <laughs> Say goodbye to that penguin soldier, Mokuba. Dark rabbit. Yeah, yeah, like, why does he have Pegasus cards? Like, like I said, like, why would you... I don't know, I don't know. I guess they are beasts, but still, you know. Uh, okay. And... We're good. Okay. I imagine Penguin Soldier's coming down. That's Koala. That might be going down. Uh, no, he went with Dark Rabbit. Square one. Probably on Exarion. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh no, my jar. Oh no, you put a monster in the graveyard for me. Whatever will I do? I know what I'll do. Next turn I'll be drawing two cards. Oh, that's it? Well, I guess, yeah, we know what's in his hand. He really didn't have any other options there, huh? All right, premature burial. <laughs> that is so broke, bro. You can revive a monster and draw two cards. <laughs> that, that's just good. That's really good. All right, I'll revive my morphine jar. Yes. And yes, we'll activate card of safe return twice. Nice. Oh, and we got Call of the Haunted. Yeah, if this duel kept going, uh, we, get, we had some good combos. But, I think this is it. Um, let's see if I can get exactly zero. I'm just doing some thinking here. So, hmm, exactly zero. We have Giant Germ. We also have the Armor of Exodia. So I can do 500 there to get him to 14. Seven, no. Uh, Xarion can get him to 12. And I can't get exact from there. Uh, I can clear him, but we don't have anything with 19. Uh, okay, I don't see a way to get exactly zero, so... I mean, maybe I did have a way, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll just stack. Uh, okay, try if you do it. And after this, let's see how many points we've got. We were close though, that got him to 14, and GM has 15, so... I don't know, it feels like there was a way to get exactly zero there, but... It's all good. You win! Alright. Oh, wow, we've got, uh, 2910 Kyber points. That's pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so let's just head to the uh, grandpa shop here. And we'll buy some cards, buy some packs. It's a shop, you know? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Now there are some cards I'm looking for, uh, mainly just to show you guys some cool strategies. Uh, another blue eyes would be nice, um, but we bought like plenty of this pack. I'm only gonna buy like two of them, and you know, we'll move on to a different pack. Well, that's ultimately the strategy I want to go for: blue eyes ultimate. <laughs> Just to show you guys some pretty funny stuff you could do with that, and like defusion and blue eyes and stuff. And there's a lot of support for normal monsters in this game. Surprisingly, so that's not too bad either. Ejection variable. Okay. Uh, let's open. Hmm. 
we've only got 86 out of here. Yeah, I think there's like one or two cards out of here I want to. Um, we don't have Magic Cylinder yet. I forgot if it's in this pack or... Uh, uh, that's a pretty good card too. Yeah, Metal Reflect Sign. Trap Monster with uh, 3,000 defense. Pretty good, yeah. Hmm. Is there Metamorphosis in this game too? Oh, that gives me some ideas. Vampire Lord, wow. Uh, that's a pretty solid card, yeah. So whenever it's destroyed by a uh, an effect, uh, yeah, it special summons itself during the next standby phase. Very, very good. Especially if you have a Pyramid Turtle. Uh, now, I don't know if Magic Cylinder's like in this pack or this one. I want to say it's in Magician Souls, but uh, yeah, we'll open like three of this pack and uh, we'll head out of here. Vampire Lord is good, though. I'm glad we got that. Beast Cool Dragon, yeah. So, a couple more of this. Uh, oh yeah, also, uh, okay, actually, I can look at the card list from Summon Skull. Cool. First time we got that. Um, let me back out of here, because there actually is something we want for the Zodia deck. I just forget what card list it's in. I think it's in, because we want Mystic Tomato, uh, ultimately. Is it in this one? We haven't gotten it yet, so it should be blacked out. Um, tomato. Inherited Will. Insect Queen. Reran. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see why we stopped buying that. We don't want either of those. Uh, well, right now, anyway. Infinite Illusion. Um, Serpentine Princess. The Masked Beast. Chain Energy. <laughs> that could be pretty funny. Cursed Darkness. Is it in here? That's Relinquished. Okay. Um, Legendary History. Sorry to do this on screen. Normally I'd do it off screen, but I forgot which pack Mystic Tomato's in. Ceasefire wouldn't be too bad either. Uh, is it? No, yeah, the last one here is the regular Dark Magician. Oh, well, I'm glad I checked out Magician Soul, because I guess Magic Cylinder isn't in here. Uh, I could have sworn it was available in one of these packs, but I guess not. Nope. Um, Tricky Tunes, Dark Jeroy. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Magic Cylinder is in Tricky Tunes. Okay, it's in the one with the Tune Dark Magician Girl. Well, it wouldn't be in like the first couple of packs, right? Maybe it would be. Dragon Piper, Cocoon, Trap Master. Huh. Oh, do we not have the pack yet? Is that why? Is that why I don't have Mystic Tomato yet? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, because I'm not seeing it in any of these. Metal Zoa, yeah. And I've already checked this one, right? Kunai with Chain, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess whatever pack it's in, we don't have it yet. That's crazy. Um, yeah, that's really crazy considering what point of the game we're in. Barrage of Nightmare. Oh, man, that would be... <laughs> that would be pretty good to get, not gonna lie. Okay, so we might open some Devise Tactics. It's a good thing I scanned over that. Shimer on the Mage. Huh. Yeah, I guess Mystic Tomato isn't available. Uh, Gorilla, Necros... Hmm... Okay, but we will open Device Tactics. We'll go for Mirage of Nightmare. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, yeah. That's not a bad card at all for an Exodia deck. Okay. Device Tactics it is. Hmm. Wow. I wonder when we get the pack with uh, Mystic Tomato. I mean, actually, maybe since we don't have that pack, and I do want three, we should save our points, huh? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Okay, so... We'll make it to where we have at least 1,500 points. Yeah. Because that's a complete... Uh, that's all 10 packs that are available. Oh, Chama Black. Yeah, baby. Uh, one more. And that'll be it. United we stand. I think we already have one, but that's a pretty good card. All right, let's get out of here. We at least did get Vampire Lord, which, huh, maybe I should put it in this deck actually, because um, 
if the opponent's like dumb enough to keep destroying it by effect, it does come back. So, and uh, that does go well with card of safe return. Why not? We'll just throw in Vampire Lord real quick. Uh, Zanki. V, 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 V. Uh, there it is. Oh, and it's at uh, two in this game, so there you go. Okie dokie. Alright, we'll do one more duel and call it an episode. Maybe I should switch to like a regular deck, honestly. It's actually probably a good idea, considering how late in the day it is. But, uh, so we will save the changes for, for the Exodia deck. Time Mac Exodia. And the deck we'll switch to is... I don't know, I didn't really have a plan for this episode. How about we switch to... Terra Force. Yeah, this is a really powerful deck. I like this deck. Yeah. Okay. Alright, and maybe we'll duel Mako. We haven't dueled them in a while, so... Where art thou, Mako? That's Mokuba. No, thank you. Who's up here? Uh, Bakura. Oh, there's someone else up here. Uh, there's Mako. Okay. Let's duel, my buddy. Ha! I enter numerous tournaments so I can buy my own fishing boat with the prize money. Hopefully, one day I can set sail and search the vast ocean for my missing father. Indeed, Mako. It is time to do it. Let's do it, buddy. Big haul. <laughs> All right. Looks like Mako's probably going first. It, it means I can grab a drink. Very well, Mako. Yeah, you got a couple nice back row cards there. Oh man, we bricked. But we got a heavy storm, so I guess I'll play that. Call of the Haunted. Ooh, boy, we got rid of some good cards there. Okay, let's uh, set uh, Spell Absorption. And what else? I guess we'll set this Tornado just in case. And uh, yeah, looks like we're in, in the turn. We got all spells and traps. Not what I expected to start, but we'll work with it. Giant red sea snake. <laughs> hmm. I may want to play uh, Gaia Power and boost my life points next turn. I don't know. Hmm. A stool could actually go very, very quick if uh, I don't draw a monster this turn. We'll see, though. Let's see. 4,600? Hmm. I draw. Ah, that's what we'd like to see. Okay, yeah, let's play Gemini. Uh, Gaia Power. And then we'll play Gemini Elf. Yeah, Soul Absorption will boost my life points whenever a spell card's played. Oh yeah, heck yeah. And we got Dust Tornado in case he, uh, I'm pretty sure he runs a legendary ocean at this point, so. All right, Gemini Elf, destroy the giant red sea snake. There we go. Okay. That's it, Mako. Hey, my turn. Doo, doo, doo. Ha ha ha! Pots of Greed! Nice card, but that does give me 500 points, Mako. So. Defense mode. Oh, tributing. Uh oh. Wait, he tributes set? Oh, I guess, uh. I guess Gemini Elf is too strong for him. Because we did, uh. We do have our field card. Let's see if this is, uh, usually he likes to play Amphibian Bees, so that's funny. Oh no, it's, ha, Legendary Fisherman. You know, that does make sense. Because I was going to really say, Amphibian Bees, at the very least, you could crash, bro. But, uh, well, I guess that card's in the graveyard if you want to bring it back with Premature Burial or something later. Uh, Defense Mode. This guy's not setting any more back row, which is good, honestly. It's good for us. I could play this for extra life points, but uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just attack for now. He might have a Mama Grizzly, though, so I called it. Yeah, yeah, I'm very familiar with Mako's strategies. <laughs> I mean, I like a lot of water cards, too, in water decks, so 
That's standard fare. What you gonna bring out? Ha <laughs> ha! Giant jellyfish! Yes, 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 yes. Alright, and he can tribute summon again next turn if he really wants to, so. Your turn, Mako. What you got, buddy? Defense mode, yep, he's tributing again. Alright. Well, he's been stalling us out, I will say that. Okay, we finally got what we're looking for here. So let's play Tune Table of Contents. And the great thing is, this card can search Tune Table of Contents. And he did damage us earlier, so this can kind of restore our life points. So we'll play Tune Table of Contents again. <laughs> That's such a good combo with uh, Spell Absorption. That's why I run it in my deck, because, yeah. And then we can play the third two table. <laughs> and then we can, we'll grab Goblin, it's uh, Tune Goblin Attack Force, because we have all these uh, Warrior Returning Alive and uh, in our hands, so might as well, might as well. And our life points are all the way up to 7,100. That's great. Tune Goblin Attack Force. Now we can't attack him this turn with it, but still, that's good. 2,800, normal summon. All right, make a. Our life points have healed from your earlier onslaught of monsters. The next turn, United We Stand's coming down, buddy. You better be ready. All right, and we'll end the turn. Go ahead, Mako. What you got? Imagine if he plays Lightning Vortex after all this time. Ha <laughs> ha! Salvage. This lets me rescue two ocean monsters from the deep. Yeah, that is a pretty good card. Uh, no, don't play this tornado. So, we know he's got Mama Grizzly for sure, so... Alright, still no back row. Alright, ooh, Rhoda. Nice. Reinforcements of the army. This is gonna reinforce my hand by letting me grab a warrior from the deck and adding it to my hand. Uh, Command Knight seems pretty good here. Let's say Command Knight. Very good. Alright, and we'll play Command Knight. We'll play the Allied Forces. And I think I'll play United We Stand on Command Knight. Uh, mainly since we have other monsters, he can't even attack it, so, you know. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I thought about it for a second. I could have played it there for Tomb Goblin Attack Force to give it more defense, but, uh... Ultimately, I don't really mind if he sends it to the grave because, uh, yeah, we've got Warrior Returning Alive, so Sinister Serpent. Yeah, he does have that card. <laughs> I can't tell you how many duels I've had with Mako where I run them all out of monsters and then he just keeps uh, recurring Sinister Serpent. Yeah. But yeah, that's why he has, like, Regeki breaking stuff in his hand because, uh, yeah, he, he can just discard Sinister Serpent and, uh, you know. Oh my god, did we just win? <laughs> Dude, I, I wasn't even paying attention, but I guess all of the, the stacking uh, attack boosts with uh, uh, Allied Forces, United We Stand, and Gaia Power, it, it, at that point, it was just game over. Wow. All right. We'll take the points. 102. Not bad. Not bad. You are incredible! You'll duel like a shark! Ferocious! Ah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, uh, uh... Yeah, that's all I had planned for this episode. It is getting toward the evening, though. So, uh, yeah. In between episodes, I'll probably switch to one of the... Actually, I think I need to add a few of the... Like, rarer cards we've gotten lately into this deck. Like, uh... I don't think Premature Burial's in this deck, so I'll definitely edit this deck uh, with some of the better cards we've gotten lately, and then, uh, yeah, it's time for the Evening and Night Duels. Alright, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I guess we'll see you guys all next time. Alright, have a good day.